All right, in this video, we are going to practice working with radian measure angles. And we're going to do a lot of the things we've done before, find some coterminal angles, make some sketches, find reference angles. Um, we're also going to do a couple of new things with these radians. Um, well, you know what, that'll be on another video. All right, so what, what I just said, that's plenty for the first video. But first, to the black screen for a little review. We have long worked with degrees. We glance at something like this, and we know that um, from here to here, that is 90 degrees. We know that if we go from here to here, that is 180 degrees. We know that a complete circle is 360 degrees. All right, we know these things. Um, but recently, we learned a new way to measure angles, and it was called radians. Radians don't actually have units. Um, and a uh, wonderful thing that we learned was the basic um, measure of um, you know, like a semicircle, what we know is 180 degrees. In radians, um, this angle is pi, simply pi. And based on that, we can figure out a bunch of other things. Um, for example, if I went the whole way around the circle, all right, what we normally call 360 degrees, that will be 2 pi. All right, pi and pi again. Of course, that would be 2 pi. On the other hand, what we normally call 90 degrees, um, in radians, if this is pi, then what do you think we'll call it if we stop halfway? OK, that's going to be pi over 2. It's half of pi, all right, pi over 2. All right, so this yellow, that's pi. This is pi over 2. What if I went, um, and by the way, you can think of it this way. Um, this is pi over 2, OK, um, to right here. If I went again, wouldn't that be 2 pi over 2? But the pi's cancel out, don't they? And that's what gives you pi. Um, but if you think of it this way, pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, it'll help you understand what's coming next. What do you think this is going to be right here? This would be 3 pi over 2, wouldn't it? So pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, which is just pi, 3 pi over 2. What could I call this using the same pattern going all the way back? 3 pi over 2, 4 pi over 2. But what happens? That's just 2 pi, because 4 divided by 2 is 2. OK, so this is how we can sort of work with radians using pi as sort of a basis. All right, with that in mind, let's think about where 8 pi over 3 is going to fall on the graph. Uh, I think I'll do it on the black screen for now. 8 pi over 3. All right, let's play around with it. Look at the 8 over 3 part. Even with a 4 function calculator, you could do 8 divided by 3. OK, I'm going to round that to 2.7. OK, so understand that 8 pi over 3 is approximately equal to 2.7 pi. Okay, that's important because it helps us to see that this is a little bit bigger than 2 pi. So 8 pi over 3 must be like going all the way around the circle. Okay, so far that's 2 pi right there. Okay. Um, but we don't stop there. We go a little bit 
further. So it'll be like this. All right, so this would be a good picture of 8 pi over 3. So there's your sketch right there. So I guess we might as well do that right now. You could sketch your um, 8 pi over 3 is going to be in this quad. Why am I not zoomed in? And again, it was like this. All right, there's your 8 pi over 3. There's your sketch. All right, now we're going to kill two birds with one stone because um, the reference angle will also be a coterminal angle um, that's within the range from 0 to 2 pi. So let's find this reference angle, and that will also be our coterminal angle. Well, you see that it's, uh, it's, it's gone more than 2 pi. So if you were to subtract 2 pi, that would just eliminate the extra trip all the way around, and it would just leave. You know, imagine if I just took this and I subtracted, whoops, if I subtracted the 2 pi, that would just leave the leftover bit um, that is the uh, reference angle. Okay, so let's do that. So if we take 8 pi over 3 and subtract 2 pi, that should just leave uh, the reference angle. So um, I could cheat. If, if I were allowed to use my TI-30XS multi-view, and uh, I don't think you will be allowed to use it on the next uh, quiz, but eventually you will be able to, so I want to show you. Um, I could go 8 pi over 3, and then I could go minus 2 pi. Okay, so that reference angle is going to be 2 pi over 3. So let's write that down. So the reference angle is 2 pi over 3. Okay, by the way, this is in the quadrant 1. And that's also our coterminal angles, 2 pi over 3. The reference angle and the coterminal angle won't always be the same thing. Okay, um, now. How could, how could I find that if I did not have access to my TI-30XS multi-view? Well, we have to use our arithmetic skills. If I want to do 8 pi over 3 minus 2 pi, right now this is like 2 pi over 1, and we need uh, like denominators. So you would have to do that thing that you do where you multiply the top and the bottom by 3. So that would become 8 pi over 3 minus 6 pi over 3. All right, 8 minus 6 is 2, so that's 2 pi over 3. So it just takes a, a, an extra two steps uh, without the calculator, but it's very doable. Okay, next we have 7 pi over 8. Let's check that out. Okay, so 7 pi over 8. Um, let's see what kind of uh, decimal pi that is. So 7 eighths pi. Well, obviously it's less than 1. Okay, but let's, let's check it out. Okay, so it's uh, 0.8 pi, approximately, 0.9. All right, so that thing is approximately 0.9 pi. So, um, so it's almost 1 pi. So we're looking at an angle that is over here in the second quadrant, you know, something like that. Okay, so that is a picture of our 7 eighths pi. So as far as a coterminal angle, um, I don't think this applies to this problem because between 0 and 2 pi, uh, that's it. 7 pi over 8, it's already between 0 and 2 pi. It's not wrapped around, and we're not allowed to go negative. We have to stay positive. So 
um, 7 pi over 8, that's the only uh, way to do it. Um, but we can answer a couple other questions. We've already done the sketch on the black screen. The quadrant is quadrant 2. Okay, so let's talk about the reference angle. All right, the reference angle is going to be this angle right here. Okay, so if I want to find this angle, what I want to do is, um, you know, how much further would I have to go to get to pi? If I want to figure that out, I need to go, um, well, pi minus, it's the difference between pi and what I've already done. So pi minus uh, 7 pi over 8, that's going to be this little gap right here, the reference angle. All right, the difference between going all the way and how far I've gone so far. So um, that's what I need to do. If I were allowed to use my TI-30, uh, I would just go pi minus um, 7 pi over 8. And uh, I would get pi over 8. Okay, now without my calculator, uh, I need to do like denominator. So this is like pi over 1, and uh, you know, we'll have to multiply the numerator denominator by 8. So this is 8 pi over 8 minus 7 pi over 8. 8 minus 7 is 1, so that's just pi over 8. Okay, so that is your reference angle. Next, we have negative 7 pi over 6. Now, be careful when we graph this. This is negative, so we will be going clockwise. Um, 7 over 6 is, is bigger than 1, okay? 7 divided by 6. All right, it's like a little bit more than 1. It's like 1.2. So we're talking about approximately negative 1.2 pi, just to give you a feel for it. So, um, so remember, as I go, um, as I go to do a sketch of this, I'm moving clockwise because it's negative. So if I went all the way to here, okay, like this, um, that would be negative pi that I just did so far. Uh, all right, but uh, I have to go a little bit further than that, a little bit past negative pi. So that's why a little bit further is going to put me into the second quadrant like this. Okay? So, um, so it's going to be like that. So for the reference angle, I need to figure out how much further did I go. Um, so to figure that out, all I need to do is take my total journey minus the pi part. And I don't really need to worry about the fact that it was negative when I do the reference angle calculation. Um, so my reference angle is going to be my whole angle minus the pi, all right? So um, ignoring the negative sign for a minute, 7 pi over 6. minus pi. Okay, and we'll need like denominator. So this is like pi over 1, and um, so we'll do the whole numerator denominator thing. So this will give me 7 pi over 6 uh, minus 6 pi over 6, and uh, so that's going to equal 1 pi over 6. Okay, so that is my reference angle, is pi over 6. All right, of course, we're in quadrant 2 right now. All right, now, um, what I haven't done yet is the coterminal angle between 0 and 2 pi. So we need to know what's, um, what's this. This would be the uh, coterminal angle between 0 and 2 pi, you know, just the positive version of it. Um, well, if I want that, 
then um, what I need to do is add a full revolution to this thing. So if I start from here, um, if I add a full revolution, that's going to bring me back to where I started from, but it'll give me an, a positive answer. So we used to add 360 degrees, but we're doing radians now. So what I need to do is I need to add 2 pi, okay? Because 2 pi is the same thing as 360 degrees. Okay, so anyway, so if I have a negative um, angle and I want to get it between 0 and 2 pi, the, the bottom line is I need to take it and add full revolution to it, add 2 pi uh, to, to make it positive. Okay, um, so like denominators, again, so I'll do the sixes like so. So this is going to give me, um, so now I have negative 7 pi over 6 um, plus 12 pi over 6. Um, but negative 7 plus 12 is 5. So this is 5 pi over 6. So this is going to be this um, positive angle between 0 and 2 pi, coterminal. Okay, this is my uh, 5 pi over 6. All right, let's look at this guy. Um, I have a negative angle again. If I want to get it between 0 and 2 pi, that's positive. Again, I need to add a full revolution to this um, by adding 2 pi. So if I will just take this and add 2 pi to it, then uh, what I'm going to get, um, remember that this is 2 pi over 1, you could say. Okay, so we need like denominators, so I'm going to do 12 and 12. So that's why this is going to be negative 25 pi over 12, okay, plus 2 times 12 is 24, so it's 24 pi over 12. Um, negative 25 and 24, uh-oh, is still a negative number. So that's going to be negative 1 pi, all right, or negative pi over 12. So that's still negative. So guess what I have to do? I have to keep going, all right? I have to keep going and add another 2 pi to this thing, all right? So again, it's like 2 pi over 1. And again, um, well, you know, it's the same thing as before. So if I want, if I multiply by 12, all right, again, it would be 24 pi over 12. So let me just cheat. So I need to, again, add 24 pi over 12 to this. Um, but this time, negative 1 plus 24, um, that's going to give me 23. So 23 pi over 12. That's going to be my coterminal angle. Okay, now let's find out where this thing is. Let's do the sketch. Negative uh, 25 over 12. Well, 25 divided by 12. Let's find a decimal approximation. 25 divided by 12. Um, that's 2.08. Okay, so that's a little bit more than 2 pi. That's a little bit more than a full revolution. Okay, so this is approximately negative 2.1 pi. So that'll help us do the sketch. Okay, so um, if we're going to go negative uh, 2.1 pi. So negative direction is clockwise. So, okay, so there would be negative uh, 2 pi right there so far. So I need to go a little bit further than that. So I'm just going to go a little bit below. So that is going to give me, OK, my angle. So it's going to be in this quadrant, which is the fourth quadrant. 
okay and that's a good uh, sketch of it now as far as the reference angle the reference angle would be like this theta right here now I went past 2 pi okay um, so my angle is bigger than 2 pi if I want to figure out how much past 2 pi I went I need to subtract the 2 pi that I just passed okay so I'm, I'm gonna take my original angle ignore the negative sign so um, 25 pi over 12 okay minus 2 pi um, that will tell me how far past 2 pi went the difference between 2 pi and my actual angle okay um, so again like denominators okay um, got it 12 and 12 like we did before okay um, so we're doing 25 pi over 12 minus 24 pi over 12 that's going to give you just 1 pi over 12 so this little guy right here that reference angle is pi over 12 okay this video is getting kind of long I have a lot more to do and um, I'm talking very slowly um, but I'm gonna have to stop this video here because it's it's 20 minutes long already so I will see you on the next video much more of this stuff to come many more practice problems um, I'll see you on the next video